CanOpen is a communication system for embedded sensors, actuators, and other input-output devices. In CanOpen, each device on the network is referred to a node, and it has a unique node ID number. This allows us to address a device in the manner of, hey, node number five, here I have some data for you. Each node has data. This includes configuration parameters and input-output values like measurements or commands. All data that a node can communicate is organized into an object dictionary. Each entry in this dictionary has a referral number called the index. CanOpen uses a 16-bit value for the index. The additional 8-bit subindex is used to support data structures and arrays. The CanOpen standardization documents define the object dictionary entries used, which index and subindex holds which parameter or which process data. There are a few mandatory entries that every CanOpen device must have. These include the device type information at hex 1000, as well as the error register and a heartbeat producer time. Entries can have different data types and access types. Typically, the device type is constant, error register read only, and heartbeat time read and writable. The mandatory identity object at hex 1018 is making use of the subindex value to group multiple entries at a single index. When an entry uses multiple subindexes, the first entry at subindex 0 always informs us about how many subindexes are available. Here, 4. The following subindexes then have the grouped data elements. Here, the parts of the identity object, the vendor ID, the product code, revision number, and serial number. We will now use the CanOpen Architect, an editor, for the EDS, the Electronic Data Sheets. Now, the electronic data sheets are an electronically readable version of the object dictionary. And uh, it's the object dictionary configuration. So we'll open this up here. And uh, this is an example of a regular I.O. mode with digital and analog input. And uh, we can see that the object dictionary is divided into several areas. We have the communication profile with our 1000 device type, here the data type and the access type, but we also have here at 1018 the identity object, so that has the sub-entries as discussed. If we go down further to the standardized device profile area, we also get the analog down here, the analog inputs for example, with an integer 16. We will now use CanOpenMagic to access a live CanOpen node. CanOpenMagic is a monitor analyzer for current open devices. The PC is connected to a CAN interface and via a CAN cable we have connected a generic I.O. module industrial style CanOpen. Let's open up can open magic. And first let's do a read. So I select the read tab, select node ID hex decimal 10, and select the entry we want to read. For example, let's say 1018, the vendor ID. Hit read. Here's the number. And if we look down here in the trace, Oh, it belongs to Schneider Electric, so we have a Schneider Electric device here. But I can also execute writes. Simply open a write tab and say again, node ID 10. And let's select the heartbeat producer time, 1017. That's an unsigned 16. And let's type 500. That gives us 
on write a 500 millisecond heartbeat time. And sure enough, down here we can see there's a 500 milliseconds heartbeat coming out of the device.